Now, the government is considering doling out more SOPs to domestic companies in order to encourage them to make in India. We learned that the DIPP and the Niti Aayog are considering making changes to the public procurement order. Remember, last year, the DIPP came out with this order after the cabinet cleared a policy to promote domestic content in the government and PSU purchases. Ritu Parnabhuyan joins us now. So, Ritu, more norms being put in place to ensure that domestic companies source from domestic companies. Absolutely. You know, uh, the, the analysis that was done by Niti Aayog had shown that uh, uh, that PSUs and several government departments are were actually circumventing uh, the norms and were giving preference to imported uh, products and foreign companies in their tenders and contracts. The Niti Aayog wants to stop that and it has suggested that uh, there should be uh, no uh, conditions like, let's say, minimum net worth or, an, or a certain amount of experience in, in, doing, uh, in, in giving out a service or a, a manufacturing product such conditions should not be applicable to uh, companies based in India it has also suggested that there, there should be a price preference given to uh, India based companies in government tenders and and PSU tenders and and contracts uh, uh, and last but not the least uh, the Niti Aayog is going to actually meet the uh, the, the procurement heads of uh, several government uh, uh, organizations and PSUs uh, to press upon this point that Indian companies need to be given preference uh, as far as government contracts are concerned. At the same time, DIPP is also not uh, you know, behind in, in this. It has internally discussed uh, giving uh, price preference to uh, Indian uh, companies in government contracts. And last but not the least, uh, DIPP is also planning to have a dashboard through which it can actually monitor which government contract is going to which uh, what government uh, uh, what company and if that company is an Indian company. We'll have to, we'll have to be, we basically now wait and see if uh, uh, the government is uh, able okay. to have uh, you know, more stricter norms that gives preference to Indian companies as far as government contracts are concerned. All right, so this is a renewed push for domestic companies to source from domestic companies for government contracts. What's interesting, as Ritu was pointing out, that now they're talking about price preference, which was not the case earlier. Now